You're very welcome back. You're watching The Daily Rundown with me, Fiona Fox. And now I've been joined by image consultant Emma Russell. Emma, Hi. hello. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks so much for being in here. No, you look fantastic, you. obviously, as an thank image you. consultant. Show. I guess there's a lot of pressure on you to show up looking. There is a bit, yeah. yeah you you can't just bit. show up in your trackies, can you? No. Although, sorry, you can now because it's cool. Well, yeah, trainers are quite cool at the moment. But no, certainly going on the school run has a little bit more of an added pressure <laughs> than it should normally. So, well, your woman's an image consultant. Look what yeah, she's wearing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, how did you get into this? Because you're basically, you're basically, to describe it to someone who doesn't know what image consulting is, you're basically like a Gok Wan, aren't you? A bit. A lady yeah. Gok Wan. Yeah, a lady kind of Gok Wan. So an image consultant teaches ladies and men how to dress for their body shape. So right. it's understanding what your body shape is and how to style your clothes so that you can complement and enhance it. I also do colour as well. So I teach ladies the best shades of colour to suit their skin tone and their hair colouring. And the benefit of that is that it can eliminate dark circles uh, under your eyes, take away shading and reduce blemishes as well. Right. So you can spend all this money on pots and potions of creams Make and spend ups. a fortune, makeup, yeah, touche clap and all of that. And it could be as simple as the fact that you're wearing the wrong shade of colour or the like wrong colour top. reflecting or something. Yeah, it's reflecting badly, yeah, face. and it's drawing out certain pigments in your skin, yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Because I guess people go through their whole lives and they, they like you said, they'll spend so much money. Because, I mean, it is, it's such a, such an expensive business, isn't it? Just, yeah. you know, being a woman and being a man now as well, yeah, I guess, yeah, your style yeah, yeah. and your look. But putting so much into yourself and then you may be thrown on the wrong colour. Yeah, exactly. And that kind of changes yeah. everything. The body shape thing, I think, now, that's because ultimately, no matter... Uh, I know we're going to talk about fashion and uh, fashion weeks in a few minutes, but no matter what trends are out there, sometimes you do have to just accept, don't you? You can't wear everything. Yeah, I Everyone mean... Everyone can't wear everything, sure they can't. No, exactly. I think what's really important is to understand your body shape. Right. And what, when I work with clients, nine times out of ten, once they understand their body shape and the way, why it is the way it is, there's a certain level of acceptance there. Mm. So, um, you know, basically your body shape, uh, whether or not you have a waist or not, is defined by your skeleton. You know, lots of clients will say to me, oh, I'm on a diet, mm. I'm, you know, I've got big hips, I wanna reduce my hips. But at the end of the day, your skeletal makeup dictates whether or not you've got a, a narrow waist, um, not so narrow or no waist at all. So no amount of dieting is ever going to change that. So, so no amount of dieting, no amount of CrossFit. What about this waist training type craze that's been in for a while? What yeah, about that one? I, I'm not so sure about that. I've seen that on the uh, on the Kardashians. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's Guilty right. pleasure. Well, um, but yeah. Ultimately, you, you'll always be that shape. You'll yeah. just be a smaller version of it. And most of my clients, once they understand that and they get that, that they have this level of acceptance and they say, right, okay, you know, rather than hide my body shape and what we call tenting, you know, they, they wear clothes to cover their bums or mm. cover their tummies or I want it to come down over my thighs. Once they understand and accept that actually that's making them look wider and making them look bigger, and that the best way to complement their body shape is to follow the contours of their body, they kind of start to come around to the idea of not tenting and not covering up, um, which so I think we're all guilty of doing sometimes. Yeah, of course, of course. But I think especially on certain days and that, isn't it? It's just yeah. like, today I just don't feel like looking yeah. to highlight whatever, you know, is going on. Let me just cover everything. Yeah, it's body, body confidence day. Yeah. yeah, everyone has them. I have them, you yeah. know, everyone's... You can be as skinny as a rake or larger. Everyone's got body image issues, you yeah. know, regardless of their size. And so it, it sounds like there's actually a bit of psychology to what you do, isn't it? Is. Because I think people yeah. wouldn't at first glance think that, sure, they wouldn't. Oh, you know, she's going to tell me what to dress or what to wear or yeah, what makeup yeah. or how to do my hair. But there actually is a bit of getting to know the, the customer as well. Like your there client. is, absolutely. Um, understanding what makes them tick from a style point of view, mm. understanding what makes up their wardrobe personality is really important. So that's your your natural default as far as what your style is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, yeah, they, they, the, 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 the um, way that you dress can really boost your confidence. Really. Yeah. Um, you know, it could be seen as quite shallow thinking, or oh, what well, clothes can make you feel better, but yeah. it does. And there is a, an element of psychology there. But what I will always say, say to my clients is, I can't fix your problems. I can't, you know, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a psychologist, but what I can do is understand you, understand your body shape, 
and teach you how to dress to complement it and enhance it and ultimately you'll feel so much more confident inside and I guess that's why I set my business up to help girls like me who have got normal lives and normal jobs and normal incomes we've not got stylists on speed dial yeah um, to help us understand how to dress and, and boost our confidence so just bring that to the to their um their budget really and that's the thing isn't it so because i think we're just we're just bombarded aren't we with you know makeovers um whether it's somebody you know who wins x factor or whether it's superstars you know jennifer lopez or the never aging jennifer lopez or what's going <laughs> yeah. on there. but you know what I mean? we're looking at these people and we're kind of trying to compare ourselves to them we're kind yeah. of ordinary people they've got millions at their disposal you know to kind yeah. of put into themselves yeah um and obviously with so much social media now we were talking about this yeah. earlier on it's really really hard to just keep a keep a grip on how much is done across social media yeah. people uploading selfies and looking amazing yeah. and just constant comparison isn't it and it's constant pressure i think i was gonna say especially for women would you say especially for women or yeah no i think that? there's a lot of pressure there's so much airbrushing goes on yeah. and you know the perfecting of the selfie um i saw a post on instagram recently where it, it basically blew instagram up for me in the sense of you know instagram's just full of lies you know yeah. you can perfect a selfie you can take it so many different times and i think it's difficult, you know, at my age now, I've got a level of acceptance and understanding and I can look at these images and go, you know, they've got a personal trainer, they've got a personal yeah. chef, they've got a stylist. And hours dog. and hours of time as well. Yeah. This is another thing, right? They're not yeah, doing sort yeah. of nine to fives and that kind yeah. of thing. They've probably got someone knocking in to bring them do their boot camp in the morning at six in the morning. And yeah. Coming home to nutritious. They're not having to run around after the kids, do yeah. the food yeah. shop. You so know. it's so much easier. But, yeah. the, but, the, but what you do is you do bring a little bit of this though to your average person's life. Do you, do you ever yeah. find somebody just is very very rigid that they come to you and they kind of say, "Oh, please, I want to, I want an overhaul," but they yeah. just don't want to break out of whatever they've all the time. Sort of yeah, their comfort zones. zones. Yeah, hard, all the time. So um, how do you get around them, or do you try to convince them, or do you just leave? It's them to us? it's about teaching them the rules and then. They're allowing them to break them should they wish to you know once I've taught them the rules they can understand exactly what's right for them and make it their own essentially and um, I have had clients that um, you know feel as though that they know it all and that I can't teach them anything and I guess why you just, they come to you then though you well know. you know sometimes it's been a they, they've won uh, the opportunity to see me or okay. somebody's bought it for them. It's a cool thing to do as well, I think, regardless of what you, isn't it? It's yeah, a great it's nice. my image consultant today. So I mean, to how many tomorrow. girls have said, oh my God, I'd love to go on Got yeah. Plan, you know, yeah. and, and I can do that, but you don't have to go on the telly and you don't have to have your naked picture projected onto the side of the, you know, uh, I, the local shopping centre or what have you. Oh yeah, you know God, I wouldn't I mean? be on for that at all. Yeah, no, 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 not at all. You don't do that then, so that's not part. No, of no, the no, no, that's not part of it. You know, the whole uh, how to look good naked phenomenon is, I don't think is true to life really. You know, they, he really breaks people down to and be able bit, to build them back up again. It's, and it's a bit it's more how to look good in a photo as well, isn't it? You know, it's a bit more how to look good in this one instance, yeah. sort of. Um, so you just stop at the how to look good. No, <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, it's not about how to look good naked, it's how to look good in your clothes. Yeah. You know, how, how often do we strut around the streets of Manchester wearing absolutely nothing? Zero. You know, you, yeah. you go on holiday for a week, two weeks during the summer, it's the only time you ever bear flesh outside of your no, bedroom. No, I don't know, if you go out on a Saturday night sometimes in Manchester, oh, oh, yeah. there, you'll get a few going around yeah. with a bit less on than, yeah, than you yeah, would Yeah, the expected. normal, absolutely. Are there any kind of like sort of just quick tips at like the very, very basic um, the very, very basic, like top three tips or something that you would say to somebody without them having to come and sit down and do a full consultation with you. I say the so first tip I would say is look for your focal point. Okay, so when you look in the mirror and you look at the outfit, look at what uh, your eye is naturally drawn to. So is it your necklace? Is it your jewellery? Is it your tummy? You know, have a look at where that focal point is because what you want to do is make sure that that focal point isn't on an area that you dislike. Okay. So if you're conscious of your tummy, don't wear something that, you know, like a bow or a big belt buckle. Um, you know, if you want to draw attention away from something, so maybe you don't like your bust area, you know, you want to be drawing attention up and away. So around the face, I think scarves and earrings and necklaces. So. Focal points. It's all illusion, isn't it? It's it like is. A yeah, I was dance taught to the seven veils or the seven scarves or whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was taught to, uh, you know, describe myself as an illusionist because that's exactly what it is. It's yeah. creating illusions. Um, 
What are my other top tips? Um, if you're short like me, elongate, elongate, elongate. So one of the big springs trends that's coming through is graphic stripes. I was going to say this because we were, I yeah. did want to get what were your highlights because we've just, uh, they've all closed now, the European um, Fashion Week, haven't we've yes. just finished. Yeah. So graphic stripes was one for so, you. So um, the Fashion Weeks have just finished for the autumn winter season. Yeah. So that's what's going to be coming through in six months time. Um, but the spring summer trends, graphic stripes is huge. Yeah. And um, you know, they'll talk, stylists will talk on the telly about not wearing horizontal stripes, yeah. but they'll never explain why. Yeah. Um, I teach my clients the science behind it because it is scientific. Basically, your eye travels faster up and down and slower side to side. So vertical stripes will elongate and make you look taller and horizontal stripes will always widen you. So my second top tip would be elongate so whatever part of your body you want to elongate in my case it's my legs at five foot two i need all the help i can get so uh, there's some fab graphic stripe palazzo pants and yeah. clots uh, coming through on the high street at the moment so i've seen quite a bit of that in river island and top shop so you know at great price points you can get access to those trends um it's quite easy. it's quite easy. River Island are great, I think, for kind of doing that that cheaper option, aren't they? Yes. What what other highlights, just quickly from um, Fashion Week, are, are, are for spring? Let's go. Let's stick with spring and summer. That's coming up, I guess. Um. So trend wise, ruffles are going to be huge. Yeah. Now you know when I saw this, I was kind of oh, ruffles really, but yeah, yeah, they are. yeah. And again, that's all to do with that that focal point. Again. Well, you don't have to be careful with these, just based on what you've said, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Be really careful. So you, um, I picked up a jumpsuit from River Island just yesterday and it had this beautiful detailing right across here the ruffles but if you're conscious of your bust area you don't want to be creating that focal is point is it going to make here. it bigger is that what you it mean makes you look bigger just if you've got a small <laughs> yeah, a quick note to self um, yeah basically if you're sort of small chested or petite on top um, ruffles will create volume right so it'll give the illusion of more Right. Voluptuousness That's going to be so obvious when I come in my roughly top next week now. Yeah, it's yeah. Tuesday. And um, we don't have loads of time. I'm raging. We should have you in maybe as a feature every week. That would be brilliant. Oh, Just fabulous. robbing tips. <laughs> um, but anyway, so if people want to get in touch with you, it's stylissimo.co.uk. That's isn't it? right, yeah. And you offer, obviously, a full image consultant. Yeah, I do body line analysis and colour analysis um, and can also do personal shopping as well. Whatever. Fantastic. And do you get many men coming to you? I specialise in women. You specialise in women. Yeah, I, right. I want to help normal girls like me just feel great in their clothes brilliant emma thank you so much for coming oh, in you. i'm sorry we've run out of time but like no, i said brilliant. We'll, we'll get you in for the next lot of uh, fashion weeks as well i'm that? down with that that's fine thanks emma thank thanks you. so much uh emma russell there from stylissimo.co.uk do check that out if you're looking for an image overhaul we're going to go for a quick break and when we come back Stephen and aj will be back with us see you soon